Soldiers, welcome to the Military Weapon Conference. Today's topic is HVK-30. The most broken weapon in Season 12, and probably one of the most broken weapons in Call of Duty Mobile history. So is HVK-30 really good to use? Let's find out. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best loadout of HVK-30 for both MP and VR. Stay tuned, don't blink, peace. HVK-30 is a new assault rifle that was introduced in Season 5. It has high damage, extremely fast fire rate, and tight accuracy, overall around the average of all assault rifles. This is its evaluation before Season 11. In Season 11, the HVK-30 got a new attachment, large caliber ammo. This attachment increases the damage and range of the weapon in an irrational way, which is completely a game changer, making HVK-30 the best assault rifle if not the best weapon in the season. So how broken is the new HVK-30? Well, let me show you the weapon stats first. HVK-30 is a fast weapon. It has the highest fire rate among all assault rifles. By default, it has 30 bullets in the magazine with a fire rate of 711 rounds per minute. The reload time is 2.7 seconds, and ADS speed is 284 milliseconds, which is above the average. The drop time is around 300 milliseconds, which is quite fast, and the raise time is around 568 milliseconds, which is below the average. Drop time is calculated when switching the weapon to another weapon, raise time is calculated when switching it back. Basically, they indicate how long it takes to switch the weapon, so it is quick to switch HVK-30 to another weapon but slow to switch it back. HVK-30 is a light weapon, you can run almost as fast as carrying the SMG. Its base spring out time is 150 milliseconds, which is faster than other assault rifles. This means you can start engaging the enemy quickly, so you can run faster, ADS faster, and shoot faster with HVK-30. However, what makes HVK-30 broken, is you can even kill faster using this weapon. Now let's take a look at the damage and range of this weapon to see how broken it is. I've had a good chuckle over that one. I'm coming after you. HVK-30 is a high fire rate assault rifle with less damage. The time to kill drops significantly along with the range. These are the stats of the default HVK-30. It deals 20 damage up to 30 meters. 18 damage from 30 to 50 meters, and 16 damage over 50 meters. The head multiplier of HVK-30 is 1.3. Basically, if the bullet hits the body it deals normal damage, if the bullet hits the head, it deals 1.3 times normal damage. As you can see, the default HVK-30 is quite average, and the time to kill figures are not impressive at all. The shots to kill meter is below the average as well, that's why we never see it in meta before. However, since Season 11, you can unlock the new attachment of HVK-30, the large caliber ammo. With the equipment of large caliber ammo, HVK-30 turns into a completely different weapon. It now deals 31 damage to the upper body up to 16 meters, and 29 damage beyond that, all the way up to 65 meters. And the head multiplier is also changed to 1.6. This means an MP. You can 4 shots to kill an enemy almost at any range, and 3 shots to kill the enemy with only one headshot, no matter what range it is. Isn't this insane? This is totally overpowered, and I think it will get nerfed very soon. The enormous range of getting kills consistently makes HVK-30 the best weapon in MP. However, it is still not the ideal weapon to use in BR, due to its horizontal recoil, which is hard to control. Even with the consistent high damage at range, HVK-30 is still impracticable in BR as the recoil and bullet spread accuracy is terrible at range. Now, let me show you the best loadout of HVK-30 for MP. For any HVK-30 build, the large caliber ammo is a must-have attachment. As we already discussed, it will turn HVK-30 into a beast, that can rule the MP games. The graph here shows how efficient the weapon is with a large caliber ammo. It reduces the time to kill to 296 milliseconds, 
which is faster than all the other assault rifles, not to mention, the time to kill is consistent at all ranges, which is insane. However, it reduces the ammo capacity to 25, which is the major flaw that we have to accept. On the other hand, it reduces the reload time as well. The large caliber ammo has a weird hit zone, there is damage reduce if the bullet hits the shoulder area. This is a minor issue, as it won't stop the HVK-30 being a killing machine. The large caliber ammo has an impact on vertical recoil as well. It can be fixed by applying other recoil control attachments if you are targeting recoil control. Next, we choose the steady stock for its flinch stability and horizontal recoil improvement. It will increase the bullet spread accuracy a little bit as well. Here, we choose MIP like barrel to boost the weapon ADS speed by 33 milliseconds. As in MP, ADS speed is always something we desire. To finish up the build, we will add the tactical laser and granulated grip tape, to further improve the accuracy and ADS speed. Here goes our MP build. Let's see how it performs against the default HVK-30. First of all, let's test the ADS speed. This mobility MP build can increase ADS speed by 30%. The weapon ADS speed is only 12 frames, which is only 200 milliseconds. The default HVK-30 is already a fast weapon, this will make it even faster. Okay, before we going forward, let's take a break here, please do consider subscribing to this channel with the notification on, I post epic gameplay videos, tips and tricks videos, and gunsmith videos every 2 days. Now let's move on. Next, let's compare the recoil patterns. The recoil pattern of HVK-30 is in an S shape. The bullets will go to the left first, then to the right, which is hard to control. With this MP build, the vertical recoil is worse than the default. However, we have improvements in horizontal recoil and bullet spread accuracy, which is more important. Last but not least, let's check the damage in range. As you can see, with a large caliber ammo, the weapon deals higher damage, and the damage didn't drop as the range increased. Whereas the default HVK-30, the damage is low, and reduced along with the range. To sum up, this is a well-rounded build based on large caliber ammo, specially designed for MP. It improves the damage range, and provides better accuracy and ADS speed of the weapon, at the cost of vertical recoil. The HVK-30 is absolutely a broken weapon in MP, use it before it gets nerfed. For BR, it's another story, although the HVK-30 is still an OP weapon, in terms of time to kill and shot to kill. It is practically not as efficient as some other popular weapons, like AK-47, as most of the fights in BR are at range, even though HVK-30 has consistent damage in all range, it is hard to control the weapon due to its horizontal recoil, as a result, we can't really take advantage of HVK-30 in a range fight. So in this BR build, we will focus on recoil control, to start with, we will have to use the large caliber ammo. Then we choose the YKM Integral Suppressor Barrel for its horizontal recoil control, and better bullet spread accuracy. We didn't pick the Marksman Barrel, since the 4 shot range is already 60 meters, thus no extra range is needed. The silenced fire, that the Integral Suppressor provided is more useful here. The rest of the attachments are almost identical to the MP build, except we use rubberized grip tap for its recoil control. It improves the weapon vertical recoil by 20%. And to make the most use of the weapon, it is always recommended to equip an extended mag mod in BR. This is our BR build, let's see how it performs against the default HVK-30. First of all, let's test the ADS speed. The ADS speed is almost the same, which is fast among the assault rifles.
soldiers, it's time to get your shit together, and start training. Click the link in description to join our battlefield in Discord, let's grow together, we give away free CP on daily basis, we also host tournaments with real prize, make sure you don't miss it. Next, let's compare the recoil patterns, as you can see, even though we have improved the weapon recoil in both dimensions. It is still not the ideal pattern for recoil control, I noticed in the game, till 30 meters, the recoil is fine which is controllable. But beyond 30 meters, it becomes really unstable and hard to control. By the way, the damage range is exactly the same as the previous MP build, so there is no need to compare again. To sum up, this is a recoil control build based on large caliber ammo, specially designed for BR. It provides suppressed fire, good accuracy, and better control of the weapon. Overall, HVK-30 is still a beast in BR, as long as you can control the weapon recoil. Soldiers, our session ends here today. Hope you enjoy the weapon discussion and different loadouts that I presented in this video, and if you did, please do leave a like, and comments below. Subscribe with notification on, so you won't miss out on my future tips and tricks videos, share this video for supporting this channel, and for appreciating my hard work. I will see you again in our next mission, until then, stay safe, peace out.